Oh, she was dynamic. Not that she's still not dynamic, but it was on a different level. And uh, as I say, she could walk, talk, and dance at the same time. She was a very active person. I mean, she and I would just have the best time. Uh, you know, the world was the limit. That, that's all there was to it. It was always fun and games and helping someone, that type thing. Had one of my she was ill, and it was a, a real shock for me. I, I can remember I'd lay down in her bed with her, and I'd cry, and she'd console me, and it was just, it was bad. That's, that's the whole point. I think I cried the whole first year. I'd wake up at that time, and I'd think, what do we do now? I contacted Dr. Dyer because I needed some answers. I, I needed to know my choices, my limitations, what's out there, what can I expect. In our Center for Healthy Aging, what we, what we do is we try to take care of the entire person and their family. We take a holistic approach and that approach includes providing a support group for family members and caregivers of older adults with cognitive and memory issues. I am a geriatric social worker here, and uh, my specialty being uh, working with the dementia population and assisting families through the journey they're going through that they never expected and were not educated to, and only can learn through an experience. We meet on regular basis for consultations. Uh, the purpose is that really dementia is a family affair. It affects the family in a way that it has an impact on the entire family and their community, whether it be a school district, whether it be their church or their synagogue or their mosque, it infects, affects the entire family. And I am here for them to help them through this process, um, guide them through what they need to be guided through, um, help them through the anger and the frustration and the guilt that they come here into this room to talk to me about. Oh, there's a great burden uh, on caregivers. Even though they love what they're doing and they love the, the, uh, their family member or the person they're caring for, it's physically and emotionally draining to care for an older patient, particularly one that has some cognitive or memory and thinking issues. I just can't imagine not being there. I could not have gotten to this point, nor could mother have, if we had not had the support and the guidance and the education that we have, I have received from that clinic. I pledge to, I pledge to, accept that I will get stressed. Accept that I will get stressed. Take care of my physical and emotional health. Take care of my physical and emotional health. And ask for help when I need it. And ask for help when I need it. Now pat yourself on the back. Okay. <laughs> Good job, everyone. <laughs>